background is clearly so engineering and physics heavy, you know, and I'm curious when you think about investing, how much of that to you is hard science versus something that's more like art? And how do you think about that balance? I think it's both blended together and the table stakes are the math components. So it has to make sense that a business is going to, at some point, generate cash flows that are going to be discounted back to today. And therefore that will create that value today, uh, that market cap of that business or however you're looking at that particular asset. But at the same time, the way in which those cash flows are generated and when they actually occur is more of the art component. But then there's the philosophy component, which is, okay, well, how is the rest of the world going to value those cash flows in the context of everything else that's going on? And how much of that actually has to be rooted in reality in something that actually ends up happening? And how much of it is just based upon people's perception of what is likely to happen? And it leads me to think about what's going on in the market today, which is, you know, a lot of investors who have a particular viewpoint and framework for understanding value are sort of perplexed by what's going on in the market. And maybe we should talk about that a little bit more later, but things kind of go through phases in terms of how people think about investments. And if you were to look at, let's say, you know, the way that U.S. equities were valued over the last 10 or 20 years, and you said, how much of a company's valuation at one point times zero was actually justified by what occurred by T plus five years? And you probably would find that there was a huge amount of noise and error there. But at time zero, that is still what the company was being valued at by the market. You could transact at that price. And so it leads me to say that so much of that, you know, you could have justified what you were paying on that day based on math. But ultimately, it ended up being something much closer to philosophy in that you would ask, what was it that was driving me to decide that? And there was no math that could have justified it in retrospect. I love that. And, you know, part of how I've been thinking about that, and we'll definitely put a pin in this and come back to it. But I think how people think about time. And what I mean by that is, you know, I think value investors are very much in the moment. They expect all valuations to be in lockstep with where the business is in that moment. And I think growth investors and particularly kind of the newest generation of growth investors, I think their minds tend to think directionally. I think because of that, we have very different views of the world. 